hello again. All right, so we're going through the first problem on significant figures from page 15 of Howard Ansel's Pharmaceutical Calculations. Um, very cheap book to get a hold of, and uh, I'm going to mark them out because I'm doing this for University of Toledo's fall PHPR class um, 2021 and we're going to go over significant figures. Uh, so why do you need to know significant figures is eventually you're going to change everything into scientific notation and you need to know what your significant figures are when you go into scientific notation. Um, so really the big thing that people get caught up on with significant figures is uh, zeros. So there are the zero rules for sig figs. There's um, uh, between, before, and uh, behind. So the numbers between are, yes, they are significant figures. So those are for the zeros between other numbers, like 101. This would be a significant figures. The ones before are not, so that would be like that number. Those ones are not. And then the ones behind are maybe. It depends if they have a decimal point. So if they have uh, the number 10, this zero may or may not, it's behind the one, may or may not be significant. But if it has a decimal point, you definitely know that that zero is significant. So it's up to your best guess. But for this book in Ansel's, he has that all of them are. So for this purposes, yes. However, realistically, usually, um, not always the le the trailing the behind zeros are not but they're known as trailing zeros but it's better to just memorize this with three b's so that's why i have changed that to three b's because it's much easier to so um the ones assigned for your guys's homework are um do do the chemical costs that and then this one and then that one. So we're going to go through them real quick. And then uh, if you want to stick around, you can in fact do A, B, and C with me. So this one has a zero in it. So is this uh, before, behind, or between? It is between. So that is a significant figure. So there are three significant figures with that one. So here, this is where the maybe comes in. So if you measure one gram and your, your scale only shows grams, uh, then you have only accurately measured because significant figures really have to do with measurements. So you've only really accurate, accurately measured up to one gram. However, yes, it does equal a million micrograms, but that's not necessarily the accuracy of the measurement. So this is where the problems come in. So this is where you're behind or maybe. But for the purpose of this book, it says that all seven of these are in fact sig figs. And then this last one are these. So that is behind. And then this last one is one microgram equals 0 0.001 milligrams. So uh, is that uh, between before or behind? Well, it's before. So these are not significant figures. So there's only one sig fig in that one. Now we're gonna switch over to uh, the problems that were not assigned. And so one fluid ounce equals 29.57 milliliters. There's no zeros. This is a pretty straightforward one. That is four. Now, are there any zeros in here? Yes but these are behind, and for the purpose of this book, all four of those are significant figures. And then this last one, 
1 equals 2.54 centimeters. That is a significant figure. So, because there's no zeros, you don't have really that problem. So, that is how you solve that one. And I'm not giving you the answers necessarily, the answers are in the book. So, if This is just walking you through the process of how to know those sig figs.